And finally, a young artist is using her art to fight stigma around TB based on her personal story and that of other survivors. Her paintings portray the person behind a TB patient. The paintings were part of the recent global ministerial conference on ending TB in Moscow. Shudhwa Dev has this report. A series of paintings have been traveling across the world, urging people to talk about TB. The paintings were made by a Russian artist while she was admitted to a TB hospital. In May 2015, Paulina was 25 when she was taken to a TB hospital in Moscow. She spent the next six months and 17 days there. She was in a place no one talked about, with a disease no one talked about. Paulina experienced shock and despair. The doctor I met for the first time, he said, don't tell this to anybody because you will be branded for life, but you are young, you don't need it. And this was like the first sign for me that something is wrong around this, people are not guilty for being sick, right? Paulina decided to use her art to fight the stigma and began painting in hospital. She used tempera since the smell of oil paint made her and others nauseous. I painted myself first, like to show to everybody that I am not afraid to show myself being ill. This is, yeah, my self-portrait. And, uh, and then I saw, like, my friends, they were, like, interested in what I'm doing and uh, they were like, yes, let's do this. This painting depicts the stigma around TB that she experienced in her country. I painted my friend Aika. You can see her there too. Uh, she's from Dagestan and this place is very stigmatized because they are Muslims. She was 23 years old. She was afraid to speak out about her disease because she was afraid nobody will marry her. But now she's cured, but she had the surgery and one lung was taken out, so she has only one lung now. A number of young mothers were admitted to the clinic with TB. They were forced to keep away from the newborn. after they give birth, their immunity go low. Suddenly they have the disease. Of course I painted not their reality because they were not, afraid, they were not allowed to uh, be with their children. I paint their dream. This series of artworks called Hold Your Breath have evoked emotional reactions from viewers. Some survivors had tried to forget their experience like a terrible dream. They now found courage to speak about it. Paulina believes TB has become widespread in the country because of the silence around it. She says the stigma around TB had not decreased in recent times. The situation is far worse for migrants in the Russian Federation. By the law, he would have to be departed and he would have to be treated at his home. I remember the girl who was, uh, I was giving her my medicine because I have some, had something left. She's from Azerbaijan. She's here in Moscow. Nobody was treating her. They are absolutely magnificent. Uh, they're so evocative of one person's journey, but her perception of herself and then of, of other people. This kind of work can make a big difference to TB advocacy, making it real. In Moscow with camera person Manoj Thakur, this is Shruta Padev for NDTV.